Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Family Home Kitchen. Welcome everyone to a journey into the heart of Indian cuisine. Today we dive into a traditional dish known as Puri Sanjari. This dish is a staple at special occasions and celebrations, a testament to its place in Indian culture. With a unique taste and texture that comes from its crisp outer layer and flavorful filling, Puri Sanjari stands as a beloved dish across India. So, are you ready to learn how to make this delightful delicacy at home? Let's get started. Before we begin, it's crucial to gather all the necessary ingredients. For our Puri Sanjari, we need 2 cups of flour, 2 teaspoons of melted butter, salt to taste, and warm water for the dough. For the filling, we need 1 cup of boiled and mashed potatoes, half a cup each of boiled peas and grated carrot, and spices like cumin, coriander, turmeric, and black pepper powder, all half a teaspoon each. We also need oil for frying. With all of these ingredients ready, we are set to start creating our Puri Sanjari. The first step in our Puri Sanjari journey involves making the dough. It's a simple yet crucial part of the process, so let's get started. We begin by combining two cups of flour with two teaspoons of melted butter. A pinch of salt is thrown into the mix, giving our dough a subtle flavor boost. The key here is to achieve a semi-homogeneous mixture. Next, we gradually incorporate warm water into our flour mixture. Kneading is a fundamental step, transforming our mixture into a soft and supple dough. Remember, the goal is a smooth consistency, so add water bit by bit until you achieve the desired texture. Once our dough is perfectly kneaded, it needs to rest. Cover it up and let it sit for about 30 minutes. This rest period allows the gluten strands to relax, resulting in a dough that's easier to work with and gives our Puri Sanjari a light and flaky texture. Now that we have our dough, we can move on to the next step, preparing the filling. The filling is what gives Puri Sanjari its distinctive taste and texture. To prepare this mouth-watering filling, we start with boiling and mashing potatoes. This forms the base of our filling and adds a delightful creaminess to our Puri Sanjari. Next, we introduce boiled peas to the mix. These bring a touch of sweetness and a hint of texture that perfectly complements the mashed potatoes. Now let's add some color and crunch with grated carrots. This vibrant addition brightens up our filling and infuses it with a subtle sweetness. Once our vegetables are combined, it's time to spice things up. We'll add a delicate balance of cumin, coriander, turmeric, and black pepper. These spices are the heart of Indian cuisine, and they infuse our filling with a flavor that's both rich and complex. The key here is to ensure everything is well combined. We want every bite of our Puri Sanjari to be a perfect symphony of flavors. Our filling is now ready and we can proceed to assemble our Puri Sanjari. We're now at the final stages of our Puri Sanjari preparation. First, let's divide the rested dough into small, equal-sized balls. Take each ball and flatten it gently with your hands, creating thin, even circles. Now, it's time to bring our flavorful filling into play. Scoop a small spoonful of the mashed potato peas and carrot mix and place it right in the center of each dough circle. Fold the dough over the filling, forming a semicircle. Press the edges together firmly to seal in the filling, ensuring it's secure and ready for frying. Now, let's move on to the cooking process. In a deep frying pan, heat a generous amount of oil. It's important that the oil is hot before you start frying, as this ensures a crisp golden brown finish. Carefully slide each Puri Sanjari into the hot oil and fry until it turns a rich golden brown color. Remember to drain off any excess oil by placing the fried Puri Sanjari on kitchen paper. This helps to keep them crisp and delicious, without being overly greasy. And there you have it, your very own homemade Puri Sanjari, ready to be savored and enjoyed. These delightful treats are perfect for any occasion and a testament to your culinary prowess. Enjoy! And that's it! You've just learned how to make Puri Sanjari. From creating the dough, preparing the flavorful filling, to assembling and frying to a golden brown crisp, this traditional Indian delicacy is worth the effort. Remember, Puri Sanjari is more than just a dish. It's a celebration of culture and flavors that can be customized to your taste. So roll up your sleeves and bring the authentic taste of Indian cuisine into your kitchen. Thank you for joining us on this culinary journey. Stay tuned for more delicious recipes from around the world. If you like the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button for all new updates in the world of cooking.